So, we done? Are we finished or are we done? Not gonna fall for that trap. You're not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, no, because look, I had Warriors and Five going into this, and you I did? said to you that if I had real guts, and if I didn't have so much respect for the King and Kyrie and Kevin, I'd have said sweep. That's how highly I regard the Warriors. And I saw nothing last night to change my mind, and this is going to be a short series. I said going in, this could be an entertaining series, an exciting series, but epic, I don't know about that. And you can tell me all you want about, well, look at, look at what happened last year. No lead is safe between these two teams. It was 2-1 Cleveland, albeit shorthanded in 2015, and obviously 3-1 last year, Golden State, and look what happened. We're talking about LeBron, I get it, but they didn't have KD last year. They didn't have a healthy Steph, Steph Curry last year. This, this is going to be different as far as I'm concerned. It's gonna be more like Spurs Heat rematch when the Spurs basically just outclassed yeah. the Heat and forced LeBron to leave, which I'll reference that again in a second. You know what it reminds me of? You, had a, you ever had an old flame where you had a great date, maybe some great relations, if you know what I mean, <laughs> and you built it up in your mind like, oh, if we could just, if we could just get to be together, how great could we be? You were in love with the idea of it, more than the reality of the situation. We've been in love with an idea of a Thriller in Manila situation right. when it comes to these two teams. I don't think we're getting that. I never thought we could get it, just because to ask to get what we got last year all over again, that was asking for a little Correct. bit much. And I know because the playoffs for a lot of people have been so disappointing, we all pushed, put all our eggs in this basket exactly. and said, okay, this is, save it. this is gonna be the payoff for everything we had to endure in terms of the regular season, having to get to this point, and it's gonna pay off. Look, I, would, I didn't feel as strongly as, as convicted as you do about this being a, a five gamer. I still think that we're probably making more out of game one than we should. And as impressive as it looked, mm -hmm. and, and, and I realized the words, they weren't even playing well. That's what I'm saying. I get it. But the, the Cavs and their other pieces, I don't think they played as well as they wanted to as well, uh, also. And look at, look, LeBron James, he doesn't have a great record when it comes to losing or winning games on the road in this situation, all right? What does often happen is that he is known for responding in game two. Look, I, I'm not going to sit up here and try to make an argument that the Cavs are the better team. They're not. I didn't feel that way going into this series. You just don't want to overreact to one game. I don't. And, and it I don't, might not be 22 every night. Because I, I don't think the Cavs are going to have 20 turnovers every no, night. No, listen, the Cavs won't have 20 turnovers, you'd like to think. You'd like to think Tristan Thompson would play better. You would like to think LeBron won't turn it over eight times. But again, Clay and Dre, six for 28 between them. I know. Okay. They, they missed 15 layups in the first half. So you had two guys in double figures for Golden State. So everybody that's saying Cleveland won't play that poorly, they can play better, so can Golden State. And what I see is perhaps, LeBron has lost finals before, perhaps Cleveland's better performance or even Cleveland's best just might not be good enough. So like I said, I thought it'd be a short series going in. Don't feel any differently after last night.